We now have a lot of drugs to help protect the most vulnerable from becoming seriously ill from COVID. Unfortunately, however, new variants have limited the effectiveness of one group, and that's monoclonal antibodies. And today, a newly published paper shows the antibodies in convalescent plasma may be a better solution. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the results. Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin, so convalescent plasma is taken from the blood of recently infected and fully recovered COVID-19 patients. Now, in many cases, this plasma contains high levels or titers of antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. But unlike lab-produced monoclonal antibodies, the antibodies in convalescent plasma are polyclonal, meaning they actually attack a whole host of different proteins on the coronavirus, making them helpful in preventing hospitalizations. Well, it was very exciting. We found that hospitalizations were down 50% uh, in participants who received convalescent plasma versus those who received what we call control plasma. That's Dr. Kelly Gibo, a professor of medicine and infectious disease at Johns Hopkins University and a principal investigator of a study just published in the New England Journal of Medicine. In the study, patients who received convalescent plasma within nine days of symptom onset had half the admissions of those in the control group, potentially making them an important alternative to monoclonal antibodies. What we have found is that the variants have become resistant to some of the potential monoclonals that we were using. Convalescent plasma, on the other hand, is evolving with time. So as the new variants are infecting people, the antibodies that are being generated are to that specific variant. So we anticipate that convalescent plasma is something that could be used over time when monoclonals aren't potentially available or when they're potentially resistant. And the best source for convalescent plasma is right in everyone's backyard. What we think of as locally sourced and temporally related. So the most recent plasma in the area that you've been affected potentially will be the most useful because that will be responding to what the variant is that you're most likely to have. Now, I should point out, convalescent plasma isn't a universal treatment at all. It's only intended for people who are immune compromised and become infected with COVID or people who are at high risk for progression to more serious disease when other options like Paxlovid are not an option. Back to you. Okay. We keep learning more and more as yeah, we go, right. but unfortunately the field keeps changing as we go through it. All right, Doc.